I'm just going to show you a few ways, well, three ways to create a background um, so that you can work on a kind of semi-abstract um, figurative uh, piece uh, with a pre-prepared background. So the first method is um, I'm using heavyweight paper for all three. And the first method, I'm going to use watercolour pencils. So watercolour pencil dissolves when you add the water. So it's really just random mark making and um, a combination of whichever colours you want to experiment with. You might <clears throat> work some areas up more thoroughly with... Uh, putting more pencil down onto the page and leave other areas looser. Um, I'm just going to put one more colour on uh, just to create interest. And then taking a flat brush, I've got a jar of water in front of me. I'm making sure the brush is thoroughly soaked with water. And then I'm just going to work the water into the pencil marks on there and this is where you can choose how much of the mark making you want to be visible if you really scrub into the marks you've put down they will sort of disappear a bit or even entirely if you work really hard with the paint and you can just swirl it around and kind of choose how much is visible and there you have your background and when it's dry you can work on it while it's still wet if you're using water soluble um, medium like you can get water soluble oil pastels you could use soft pastels or you could work back into it with watercolor pencil but if you set it aside to dry then you've got more um, choice of what medium you can work in pretty much any medium over the top so next I'm going to show you two methods for using watercolour paint with a similar um, outcome. So the first method involves just putting the, using a tube, watercolour in a tube and just squeezing it directly onto the page. Um, and you could use more than two colours, you could do just one colour, I'm going to do just two colours. So you can see it's gone on quite thickly and again taking my wet brush I'm just going to really work abstractly and you can choose how thickly you want the paint to be raised off the surface of the paper in pasto or you could um, dissolve it all over the place you can choose um, how how much you work it in whether you want to leave these kind of brush strokes showing or whether you want to make it more blurry I'm gonna leave it quite um, textured and then again setting it aside to dry or working into it with a water soluble medium while it's still wet uh, I'm setting it aside to dry to work over the top later. So this method involves using a watercolour pan. I've just wet a round brush which is a pointy brush and I'm just working up uh, some paint onto it from my watercolour pan and you can create more subtle effects this way so I'm adding water into it as I'm putting it on the page. I'm going to pick up another colour So this creates much more subtle effects for your background um, and again you can work into it using water soluble mediums or you can allow it to dry or you can paint on top of it while it's still wet. Because it's watercolour it will blur if you work wet into wet so if you want a defined line you need to let it dry. So that's three different methods for creating backgrounds to work on 
when you want to do something slightly more abstract or expressionistic in your figure work. 